up guys it's your girl adara if you are new here welcome and if you are a returning watcher or subscriber welcome back i'm sure as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of the video i am going to be doing a fall slash winter haul and lookbook i'm really excited to make this because as much as I hate the cold, as far as fashion, fall and winter is definitely like my favorite seasons because I feel like you can express yourself a lot more and it just gives you more room to like add accessories and like layers and stuff like that to your outfit. So I'm super duper excited to film this haul. Um, it's kind of a collective haul, which typically my last fall and winter haul was a collective haul and it was huge. Like the video was almost like 40 minutes but it performed very well. It has well over a thousand views on my channel now, which is a lot for me because I am a small YouTuber. And even the fall and winter haul that I uploaded sometime after that did fairly good. It's still one of the more better performing videos on my channel. So hopefully this video reaches the right audience like the other two did and I could just kind of give you guys a lookbook I guess um but just a quick disclaimer none of this is sponsored none of my videos are sponsored um no PR <laughs> nothing like that um I spent all of my own funds to do this video um I was gonna buy all this stuff anyways but since I have a channel I'm gonna go ahead and do a haul so I'm not gonna bore you guys too much because I hate when people talk for too long at the beginning of hauls we're here for the clothes so without further ado go ahead and get into the video well, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with Rue 21 because I literally only got one thing from there I just got this like cropped grayish hoodie and I just think it's kind of like a staple piece for the fall slash winter all of my like gray hoodies are like full length which like they come like all the way down which is fine but I think like cropped is so much cuter with like leggings and sweatpants and stuff like that there's so many different ways that I would wear this hoodie but I'm a college student I'm a junior to be exact and comfort is kind of like everything I like to be comfortable and cute at the same time when I'm on campus so I just did more of a sportier approach um I'm not sure where these leggings are from I've literally had these since high school and they're just such good quality and they make your butt look so nice but I don't know where I got them from I'm sorry but as far as shoes I was kind of thinking like these black foam runners but I know Uggs like they trend every fall and winter so you could also do like some Tasmans um I think black Tasmans would probably be like perfect with these with like some little like slouch socks or just any kind of like knitted sock or high sock so this is kind of like how I would style this this and then I just have this little belt bag so next up I just have this like burnt oranges top orange-ish top from Target it's by Wild Fable I bought it in the store so I don't have a link to it I'm actually a little bit upset because I got this in a small it looked really tiny and I wanted it to fit super tight but it's still kind of loose I actually had to tie it up to make it even look like this but it's fine and then I also picked up this belt bag from Target the other day. It's just like the fuzzy Lululemon one, but a fraction of the price. This was only $15. I think the fuzzy one from Lulu was like $50 or $60 when I went in the store. And then these leggings are not a part of the haul. I've had these for years now, but I don't know. I just kind of thought the color contrast was like cute. It's not the same shade of orange, but... I don't mind mixing different shades of this same color. I think it's cute. And then I just paired it with my little platform Uggs and some socks. This is like exactly how I would wear this, especially if I was going to class or just running to go get something to eat like with a friend. Super cute, comfy, casual, perfect colors for the fall. Next up, I have this same top from Target, just like in this gray color. And once again, I'm so disappointed because I got this in a small, but it just looks so big. I tied it up in the back, but it's very small. I don't think I'm going to return it, honestly. I think I'm just going to try to shrink it in the washer and dryer. This is kind of like how I would style this, just like really chill, nothing too dressy. Um, I have on these flared leggings from Target as well. I've had these for a little bit over a year, but they still have them if you want to pick a pair up. And then I just paired it with this cute little tote bag um, from Shein. It's pretty old. I've had this for at least a good two years now, but I just think tote bags are just so cute to kind of like dress up your outfit. 
and then for shoes i'd probably just wear something like this i am obsessed with these new balances next up now i've moved on to charlotte ruse i got quite a bit of stuff from there i definitely feel like they upped their game at least the one at my local mall so first off i just got this cute little cropped cardigan i've always loved cardigans i think this is just so cute and you could like style this cardigan so many different ways and i love that it's cropped because most of my cardigans are like full length and i've been looking for a decent priced cropped one mind you i bought all of this stuff in the store so i don't have the links for these i got these straight leg like I don't want to call these cargos because they're not cargo pants, but they just kind of remind me of cargos and they fit so good. I got this in like an extra small because I hate how my jeans kind of like sag off of my waist and these are just so perfect. I would style it. So I got this tote bag from Target as well and it's super spacious and it's just the perfect color and material for fall. And then I would probably wear like my little mini uggs with this i just think the color contrast is super duper cute and it just matches the bag so perfectly like it looks like they were made for each other almost so next up i just have this like full length cardigan that i got from charlotte ruse as well i really like this one because it has pockets and it's like it'll be super cute for like when you wear like leggings and stuff like that so it can kind of like cover your butt and stuff and also got these like black straight leg pants they're the exact same pants as the one i showed you guys in the last clip and they fit so good i got these in an extra small as well and i'm not sure if i would wear this white top with this outfit but i didn't exactly feel like changing my top i think this cute little kate spade purse is kind of cute if you want to kind of like dress this up a little bit next up i have another cardigan and it looks a lot like the other one it's kind of the same concept except it doesn't have any buttons like that one had i thought that this would be cute honestly with an outfit like this just something white underneath and these sweatpants are really old i'm pretty sure i got them from shein though and then i thought my little michael kors bag would be super cute you could hold it but honestly to be more comfortable i'd probably just wear it like this or something like that and then honestly these uggs are like my current addiction like i wear these with any outfit that looks right with them so i would probably pair it with these but honestly any ugg boot would be super cute even maybe like some converse it it just depends on your style and like your comfort level but these are like my current obsession like i've been wearing them so much since i've got them i got this puffer vest I have a very bad obsession with puffer vests. I think I got like my first puffer vest when I was like in like middle school. I needed more so I got this green one. I love like olive green and navy green so I had to pick this up and then I just paired it with like this basic white tee underneath and I have on these like mom jeans and then for shoes I just paired it with my olive green platform uggs and i just have this little cute bag from target that i got like last year i'm actually really obsessed with this outfit like i think i may have to wear this soon next up same plain tee but different vest same color i just got this black puffer a black puffer vest is essential the inside is white just like the green one which i don't really mind too much and a color contrast is good sometimes so it doesn't really bother me like that and then i just have on these like black sweats and i just paired it with these foam runners and the little white socks and to like jazz it up i think the easiest way to make chill outfits more dressier is your accessories. So I just think something like a bag like this with a chill outfit just kind of elevates it a little. Of course, I would wear gold jewelry because the strap is gold. But right now I've got my silver on, so don't mind that. But this is kind of like how I would style this stuff we're moving on to forever 21 and this piece that i have is 
very different from anything that I've ever bought. I've always wanted one and I think it looks really good on tall girls. So I just went ahead and I got it. I'm gonna have to lower the camera. I got this super long skirt and I'm literally so in love. I actually got this off of the sale rack in the store so I do not have a link to this but I'm sure you'd probably be able to look it up. You can wear this to so many different places and style this in so many different ways. Um, I kind of just went with more of a casual approach. I have a tee that's more cropped than this. This is kind of like full length. I think cropped would probably do this outfit more justice, but this is super duper cute. Um, the jacket is from Windsor. I got this like when I was in high school. Don't know if they still have this. Plain black tee is from Target, I believe. I paired it with these like black boots with just the little heels. I tried it on in the fitting room so I knew it fit me but I was just still hesitant because it's kind of out of my comfort zone but I literally love this so much. Like this is a 10 out of 10. So next up I just have on this one piece from Forever 21. This I actually did order online so I will link this down below. It's just like this little spaghetti strap romper or a one piece unitard whatever. You know these are super trendy right now especially for fall and winter because you can easily layer them and add stuff you could like put a sweater on top a flannel whatever so i thought this was pretty cute my only complaint is like the crotch area um i don't like when leggings do this and then it's like even when i pull them up it just keeps doing the same thing but that's not like a huge problem this will still be worn um i just paired it with this flannel that i got from she and some months ago and this cute little bag i thought it was just cute to dress it up a little bit and then at first i was like in reality i'd probably just wear like my tasmans with this but this is also kind of like a really cute way to like change it up these cute little boots and plus i like how they kind of like just blend into the unitard so it gives like that sock boot type of look that i really like it's just like another way that you kind of like dress this up I'm showing you guys some pieces from this store i got from von mar um it's a local store at my mall not all states have a von mar but there's one in indiana i think there's actually two or three i believe um so like i said i got this in the store so i don't have links but i just got this cute little top with the diamonds on it and i just think it's so cute for like going out like on a date like a little casual date it's not on the back it's not on the back or anything but it's all over the front and i literally love it and to give it more of like a sexier vibe i paired it with these like leather pleather pants that i have i actually got these from um she and like about three years ago i just think this is so cute for like going out next up i have the exact same top um the only difference is the color and the size i like the sizing of this one better i think i got the other one in the medium because they didn't have small but this one is in a small I, first of all pink is my favorite color so i absolutely love this definitely more of a going out outfit for me i just paired it with these bedazzled jeans that i got from she and for back to school i believe i don't think i did a back to school haul no i didn't do one because i didn't feel like it <laughs> but i got this for back to school i love these jeans so much and they make my butt look really nice as you can tell i look taller than what i really am i have on these like pink little nine west heels i got these for like what birthday my 19th birthday something like that we're gonna go ahead and move on to the sheen portion of the haul i just got this um crew neck and it says tennessee on it what really drew me to it was the white with the orange lettering it low-key kind of reminded me of like those crew necks that say tennessee but then they take the t out and they put an f to make it like finesse or something like that and i guess this is my way of kind of making this like a streetwear type of outfit 
I think in reality, I probably just wear like regular blue jeans or maybe even leggings and my Uggs and call it a day. I just added this tote bag and my Air Forces. I literally never wear my Air Forces. I never pull these out. I've had these for like a good two years and they're still pretty white. I just don't really care for Air Forces. I like how they look, but just not really on me. So I don't wear them that much, but I've been thinking about pulling them out of retirement because they would be kind of cute with some of my outfits. So this is kind of like how I would style this if I was going for like a streetwear type of vibe. Next up, I just have like, I have the same little unitard on, but I have on this like green sweater and it's really cute. And I definitely do see people like doing like the unitard with like the little knitted sweater on top. But my honest intent was just to like wear this as just a shirt with like a pair of pants. But as you can see, like... <laughs> I thought it would be like lower, like at least like this, but like my whole boob and nipple would be out. And I'm offered for the nipple, just not my nipples. So I kind of had to improvise. So this is probably how I'd end up wearing this. Cause I don't know, I feel like this green is just way too cute to not get some type of use out of it. So this is kind of like my way of improvising. But if you want to wear this, without anything under it, without your nipples showing, I advise sizing up in this and not down. I just have this like sweater and it's like distressed, like the holes and stuff like that in it. And I just love this. I was automatically drawn to this because of the distressing and the way that the sleeves sit. I just really love it. Right now I have on a black bra, but when I wore it, I had on like a brown bra. So, it created the illusion that it was see-through without really seeing anything so if you have like a brown or a nude bra i definitely recommend that if not brown or nude then black will do because i have on black now and it doesn't look bad i just didn't feel like changing my bra for one shirt and to like spice it up i just um paired it with this like white little skirt i got this from forever 21 about a year or so ago and i just have on my michael kors bag and to give it that fall look i just have on these like little like slouchy looking socks and my ugg platforms and i just think this is so adorable i already wore this shirt i just wore jeans but i'm definitely gonna have to wear this outfit again but with like this skirt like i have to wear this and take pictures in this for instagram like this is just the cutest thing next up i just have this one piece in all black from she Ann, and i kind of have like a love hate thing for this i've already worn it before but like the material is a lot different from what i thought it was based off of the picture it's not bad material it's pretty thick it's not see-through at all but I don't know the material is just kind of weird it's unlike anything I've ever really had before but it's still pretty cute and I love these because it can be styled in so many ways um when I wore it I wore a vest on top but you could do like a vest a leather jacket a puffer coat a flannel like there's just so many different ways that you can style this so I'll probably give this like a 6 out of 10 just because I don't really like the material as much and I could have sized down because there's just like a lot of space and I don't like that. It gives Halloween costume, but it's still wearable. I'm going to wear it. Plus, I needed a long sleeve one. The tank top one is good, but long sleeve is just so much more comfortable for like when it's cold. I have the exact same one piece, but in this grayish chromish color. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of the material, but it's still cute and it's comfortable. Like, I really wish I would have sized this down. I thought since it was a one piece, I would kind of have to size, not size up, but just get like my regular size. Because in the black one piece from Forever 21, I got a small and it's like, it just doesn't really fit all that great. So I was just assuming kind of like, I don't know. Yeah, here's the gray. I think I actually like the gray a little bit more than the black not 100 percent sure next up i just have another crew neck um i just thought this was like cute to like throw on for like class or running errands i already wore this i just wore it with like a black vest and some black jeans and i had and i wore like my dunks that are kind of like this color or like match this colorway so that was kind of like how i styled this but um i'm getting kind of irritable I'm not gonna lie so i'm kind of over the whole putting outfits together type of thing so i really just threw this 
on on top of the one piece but a lot of people do like to just put shirts on top of their one piece which is cool too so but yeah i thought this is just like cute and comfortable and easy to throw on i just got this crew neck that says atlanta georgia honestly the only thing that drew it to me was the color because i have a million other crew necks just like this and I actually have one or two that already says Atlanta on it, but I don't have a pink one and I needed a pink one. So I went ahead and I just scooped this up, nothing too crazy. Next up, I just have this little athleisure jacket. Um, I've been super into athleisure lately. I've been wearing it a whole lot. Like I have this jacket in this pink color. I have it in like this white color. I have purple, I believe. And then I also have black so but i recently picked up this pink one and i love it so much because i think athleisure is the perfect way to still look like super cute but still be comfortable so here's this i don't think i would wear it with this romper but i'm just trying to kill two birds with one stone next up i just have like these little athleisure type of leggings and they're pretty long last time i ordered some flare leggings from shein they were really short it gave flooded but i just got these purple leggings to match the purple jacket it's like right here actually that i have i already wore the two together super cute and comfortable and it's so much more affordable than like a lot of the other athleisure brands that are trending right now so I suggest you hop on. Next up, I have the exact same pair, just in a different color. I really don't exactly have anything to go with these. So I probably honestly just wear maybe like this top and call it a day because I ordered this top to like go with just like my bottoms and stuff like that so maybe i would just wear it like this i don't know got like this little white corset type of top i've been super into corsets lately but i don't have a long sleeved one so when i saw this i just instantly fell in love and it looked good on literally everybody in the reviews like i didn't see not one bad picture of this corset it's the back very plain but still super duper cute but yeah i honestly give this top a 10 out of 10 the only thing is sometimes it like lifts up as you like move so either i recommend kind of like maybe pasties just in case you have a little wardrobe malfunction i feel like if you size down it wouldn't move up as much because it'd be tighter the last article of clothing that i got in this haul is this cute little sweater i don't know i just really love the cut and like how the sleeves are the sleeves are attached to the shirt but i just really love this so much i think it is so adorable and you could definitely dress this up or down but honestly this is probably exactly how i would wear this was just like a cute little bag and some uggs maybe this outfit screams uggs i don't think i'd wear sneakers with this but yeah this is the last piece of clothing for this haul if you guys made it to the end of this video first off i want to say thank you so much but secondly if you made it to the end what are you waiting for go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe because you made it all the way to the end of this video and i can be a little talkative in my hauls um so as far as the links to buy everything i'm definitely gonna leave all the shame links down below but as far as everything that i bought in store i don't think i'm gonna link that every time i try to link items that i bought in store i can never find half of them but like i said you guys know where everything came from maybe check out your local mall or try to find it online but yes like i said i'm gonna say it one more time if you enjoyed the video give it a big thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye